Hi, Bill here, ready to answer voters' tough questions. And there has been a lot of tough questions I've seen, but I'm going to answer them, unlike my rivals, Aimless Reagan, and of course, Ivana Batchit. I don't shy away from the voters. Bill doesn't shy away from the voters. Okay, let's see what you people have got here. Right, so Diggs, 5705258 asks, Hi Bill, good luck in the election, blah de blah de blah. Given the recent violence and crime around Stevens Green and South Ann Street, not to mention the anti-mask march on Grafton Street, is it now time to consider closing all access points between North and South Side? Well, <laughs> digs. Uh, funny you should say that. One of my main proposals for Dublin Bay South is a peace and prosperity wall between Irish Town and Rings End and the rest of the constituency. Of course, ensuring Sandy Mount and the beautiful Balls Bridge residents are giving some peace from the great unwashed and we can all maintain our prosperity. As for the north side digs 57525881, well, I don't actually care about the north side, all right? Next. Okay, Junkie Trump, and I love that handle, by the way. Uh, Bill, how many students could I pack into this linen cupboard at 300 euros a week each? Wow, see the picture there? Uh, that's a big cupboard. And the fact that you're, you're not charging at least 600 euros each shows that you can't even landlord. You don't know what, you don't even know, you're not even in our league here. Uh, but to answer your question, I'd say four students or alternatively, maybe 10 Brazilians. Okay, next question, and I think this is to do with just, you know, poor people having babies. And it's a good point from uh, Ken Heslip. And a nice picture there, Ken. Looking good, pal. Uh, castration for those earning below 500 grand a year? Well, I, I, I actually think this is a Fina Gale policy, if, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, as, a, as a dedicated Roman Catholic, I'm more of a, an adopt and sell the babies man myself. So uh, yeah, we leave it to the church, I think. They've, they've never gone wrong in the past. Okay, we, it looks like we've got a Nordy question here on Twitter from south underscore down underscore IP. I think the name gives it away, but uh, they ask, Bill, how would you deal with the North? God, that, you know what, that's a really complex issue, full of nuance, and it probably requires, uh, I suppose, a lot of research and knowledge. So I'm just gonna skip that one, if you don't mind. Baker, can we cut that one out? Okay, now we're getting down to it. Now we're getting down to it. Tom Finnegan asks, Bill, could you advise jocks or boxers for max flexibility? And as someone who's been campaigning the last two weeks, this is important. This is very important. And I would say Marks and Spencer's boxers, one size too big, you can't beat it for the, the regular breezy flow of ventilation and that. And uh, of course, it does tend to tickle in all the right spots. You have a go at M ones, Tom. You're gonna like them. Okay, Pray for Mojo asks, do you consider people from Cork as emigrants? Uh, well, as, as long as they stay in Cork, I don't really mind not considering them at all. So if that's an answer, it is. Oh, look, oh, 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 oh. Hold on, everyone. We've got a verified on Twitter person here uh, by the name of Donald Clark. Now, Donald, uh, I'm gonna read this out very quickly. Bill, I, I am a person regularly box popped on the telly. I believe that day politicians are all the bleeding same. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Are you all the same? And if not, why not? Well, 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 Donald, while your review of Wild Mountain Time was completely wrong, I mean, it, it is a five-star film and it does reflect modern Ireland. Uh, I do, however, think your point here is correct. Uh, all the establishment politicians are all the same. And I would go into lengthy detail about all the ways I am different, but I think it's more important for people to vote for me so I can actually show them what it's like struggling on a mere 96,000 euros a year. Right, Ryan Hannan asks, Hi Bill, long time fan. My question is, if I vote for you, what will you do to extend the divide in Irish society? blah de blah, blah I'm just going to answer your question straight up. When elected, my aim will be to divide society down into even more subclasses. 
making armbands detailing their annual income compulsory on all the poors earning under 50 grand a year. So to be walking around with I earn under 20, I earn under 10, you get it. You get what, it, what the policy is. It's, it's quite simple. Okay, Alan Kinsella asks, probably Kinsella, uh, will you make it your top priority to make Ireland great again by digging a moat around Carlo? Now, that is probably a good idea in your head, Alan, but building a moat around Carlo would actually only give them notions of grandeur. And I suppose, the, uh, for me, the best practice here would be to tarmacadam the entire county and convert it into a car park for Dublin. And I think that's the best road uh, ahead for them.